Hello friends, welcome back to another video. I have a little art haul for you today. Let's just jump straight into it. Um, first off, I got some Prismacolor Premier colored pencils. I currently have a set of 36. I thought it would be fun to add a few more colors to the collection. And I also got a couple of refill colors, which I'm running out of. I will be swatching them later on in the video. I also got two of the Pilot High Tech C Coletto 3. It's basically a three barrel pen. The ones with a lot of colors in one pen. What's interesting about this pen is that you can choose the color of the barrel and the color of the inks that you want to put inside. So basically you buy them separately. I got two barrels, one cream color and one pink color just because I can't decide which one is cuter. Um, I also got a few colors of the ink, mainly black, blue, brown, green, and pink, which you can see here. Also, the most interesting part of this pen is that it has a mechanical pencil, which is actually why I bought this particular pen. I also got some Shinhan Touch Twin brush markers. These are alcohol based markers, so basically cheaper versions of Copic markers. Um, yeah, what's great about these is that they are also refillable, similar to the Copics. I'm not really sure if you can replace the nibs, um, but the nibs are fairly durable. I actually have quite a few colors of the bullet nib version of these markers and I thought I'd try the brush versions as well. I don't know what happened with the last three colors. The barrels look a little different from the others. Also it was wrapped in this plastic thing and when I took off the plastic the branding print. Uh, stuck on to the plastic packaging. It's not aesthetically pleasing, but it's still functional. I also got an Arteza premium sketchbook in the size A5. It has 132 pages, which is a lot. I kinda underestimated the thickness of this sketchbook. I thought it would be thinner. Not exactly complaining about the number of pages. Uh, it's just that thicker sketchbooks are harder to draw on, um, especially because there's a huge gap from the desk to the paper surface of the sketchbook. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, also, if you're starting a thick sketchbook, um, the, the thinner side tends to be floating from the desk. I hope I'm making some sense. But uh, I, yeah, I usually put a thinner notebook under the thin side of a sketchbook so it doesn't like flap around. You'll see what I mean later on once I do a sketchbook spread. Right now I'm swatching all of the colors that I got. Honestly, I don't think I'll be using most of these colors. Also, I realized that a lot of the greens look fairly similar. You'll also see me swatch some Tombow brush markers. 
which I forgot to show you guys for some reason. What's interesting about these markers is that you can use them like a regular pen and you can use them like watercolors. Basically, you can take a wet brush and, and wet the colors and it will spread out. I've decided to do a fall themed sketchbook spread. Um, if you live in a tropical country, you know we don't have fall. <laughs> um, but I do like the color scheme and the overall coziness of the season. Anyway, I will now be putting on some music. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've used some of the art supplies I have here. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!